Every mangled mass of steel has a story to tell. A tale of speed, guts, talent, style. Driver willing to risk it all to create Hollywood's greatest moments. Stuntman Ignition. A lot going on right now, but just listen to me. I know this is just a short commercial, but there's a big time director, Richard Langston. He's on set. He's looking for a driver for his next film. Okay, they're ready for you now. This is your shot to get your foot in the door. Three, don't blow it. Roll camera. Action. Excellent, kid. You pulled it off. Langston wants to hire you, and he starts filming tomorrow. So get packed, because we got a plane to catch. Hello, I'm Richard Langston, director of Aftershock. Welcome to British Columbia. We're shooting a disaster movie up here, so you'll have plenty of work. Uh, pyrotechnics, burning buildings, lava raining down from the sky. Hold on a second, please. This is Langston. Could you talk to him for me, Kate? Sure, not a problem. Hey, Sorry, champ, I'm Kate Winthrop, the first AD. I'm told this is your first time on a big set, so I'll walk you through how it works. We'll have you wired up in your vehicle, and your coordinator will call out all the major director stunts we need you to hit, okay? He'll also mark them on your heads-up display with yellow stunt icons. These include drifts, gaps, jumps, closes, and other maneuvers. We'll be using a point system to judge your runs. All the directors do it. It's how we keep track of the drivers in the biz. More precisely you perform, more points you'll earn. Fail a director stunt and you'll get a strike. Five strikes and Richard will have to call a reshoot, which won't make him happy. Once you finish a run successfully, he'll look at your points and give you a scene rating in the form of movie stars. You can earn up to five stars if you really nail it. Richard's been doing this a long time and he's well respected. Do what he asks and you'll start making a name for yourself. One second. Richard, anything else? I'm still on with the studio. Look, it was nice to meet you. I'll see you on the set. All right, kid, let's get you prepped for your work on this movie. As your stunt coordinator, it's what they pay me for. You'll drive four different vehicles in Aftershock. An R3000 sports coupe, an older SUV, a dirt bike, and a fire chief's patrol car. Each handles differently, and it may take you a while to get the hang of them, so just relax. These sets are big and chaotic, with live explosions, projectiles, and rivers of lava all around you. Avoid the lava, or the whole production will have to stop while the crew pulls you out. We've got some great stunts planned. There's a high-risk sequence racing over burning rooftops and a huge finale where the town gets ripped apart. Before each scene, I'll give you shots of your key stunts with tips on how to pull them off. So just listen to me and you'll get through this in one piece. For your first scene, you'll double for the town's troublemaking drifter in his R3000 as he flees the volcanic eruption. The highlight will be this huge jump over a burning semi. The key is to hit the ramp straight. That'll set you up for the stunt that follows. As soon as you land, you'll have a pair of precision drivers coming at you fast, and you'll need to gap between them. It's dangerous, so be careful. And don't be afraid of retakes. Mr. Langston's a picky director, and it can take a while to make him happy. Roll tape. This is our first big setup, everyone. Let's focus and start the film right. Three, two, one, action! Get the cars! Drift turn right! Over the tanker! Get the cars! Drift turn left! Pass close to the car! Let's move on to the next shot. 
Stuntman Ignition is all about stunt points, and stunt stringing is how you rack up the big numbers. Every stunt earns you points and goes into your stunt string. If you perform a stunt within two seconds of another stunt, that will continue your stunt string and add another number to your multiplier. Now you're stunt stringing. Be sure to watch your stunt indicator on the upper left. It tells you what stunt you just performed and how long you have until your string breaks. You have to stunt before the string fades out. If it breaks, your string will be cashed out and added to your total score on the right. What stunts continue a string? All of them. Throw a drift, get close to anything in the scene, pass through a time gate, hit a director stunt, jump a ramp, you get the idea? Look for different ways or objects throughout the course to keep your string alive. Now if you want that fifth star, you're gonna have to string it. That means keep a continuous string from your first stunt to your last. Your total score should read zero if you string the entire level together. Try the stringing rehearsal and see if you can do it. Alright, today's run will be the drifter's last scene, when he tries to escape the town and gets torched by a lava boulder at the end. The feature stunt is the pyro charge. As you cross over a certain lava fissure in the ground, which will mark on your HUD, trigger the charge and set your car on fire. It'll get hot, but you'll be wearing a cool suit. Once you're lit, drift hard to the right and gap through the car wash. That'll extinguish the fire. Then race on to the big finale. And remember kid, watch out for that lava. Ready, Pyro, cue the extras. What say we give the moviegoers something to scream about? Three, two, one, action! Hit the object. Through the gap. Use action. Let's talk motorcycles, kid. Directors love them because they're fast and loud and add punch to any scene. But they're also harder to control and a lot more dangerous, so watch out or they'll be mopping your skull off the pavement. There are two major stunts unique to the bike. First is the wheelie. It's a great way to start any moto run and keep your strings alive. Then there's the slide. To pull it off, Perform the action as you pass through the designated stunt box. That'll make you lay the bike down on one side while you're still barreling forward. Simple as that. Let's see what you can do. Three, two, 
One, go! Pop a wheelie! Use action! Drip left! Pass close to the crates! Drip left! In this scene, you'll be doubling for a desperate teen racing through the carnage to rescue his grandmother in her mountain cabin. The key stunt begins with a jump off a down semi over some collapsing trees. Keep it high speed when you land, then a blast will hurl a couple of cars right at you with some serious force. Dodge under the flying cars by sliding the bike like we rehearsed. After the slide, you'll move real quick into a hard drift left, so be ready for it. Continue up the mountain and end at the grandmother's house. You're saving someone you love in this scene. Let's see that desperation in your driving. Three, two, one, action! Close to the car. Drift turn left. Pass close left. Through the gap. Turn right! Drive on the semi! Over the burning trees! Use action! Turn left! Drive on the semi! Jump over the lava! Land next to the house! A fair run, but I'd like some more excitement to it. Keep in control when you land so you can navigate across the fiery rooftops and take the smaller jump that follows. You'll really be putting your body on the line here, kid. We'll have the rescue team standing by, but taking that fall could really hurt you. Quiet on the set, people. These are dangerous stunts, so I need you all to stay alert. Three, two, one, action! Turn left. Close to the explosion. Jump through the sign. Hit the jump. Hard left turn. Land in the box.
In this scene, you're stunting for a volcanologist, racing down the mountain to warn the authorities that this eruption is going to cause even more damage than everyone thinks. For the big stunt, you'll off-road to a ramp on a hill, take a long jump over a chasm, crash through the support beams, and land on the bridge. Chunks of lava have torn the bridge to hell now, so after you land, watch for a quick series of pitfalls and make your way to the other side. You've held your own so far on this film. Keep it up. This is a marquee stunt, so really push it. I want my editors to have plenty to work with. Three, two, one, action! Close to the explosion. Jump over the lava. Trip left, downhill. Through the burning house. Hard right. the burning trees. Under the tree. Land in the box. This next run calls for a special stunt maneuver called the Reverse 180, and it's a bit tricky. Let's make sure you've got it down so you're not wasting time and money on the set. First, come to a complete stop. Then hold your brake to take off in reverse. Once you've gathered some speed, move the wheel hard all the way to one side. That'll start your spin. When you've turned about 90 degrees, move the left stick in the opposite direction, release the brake, and throttle it hard to bring you through the 180. With the right timing, you should come out straight and fast and ready to hit your next mark. All right, let's give it a go. Three, two, one. Go! Reverse! Reverse 180. This is the final scene we'll be shooting for Aftershock, and we've saved the toughest for last. You'll be doubling for the town's fire chief, escorting some fire engines across town. The marquee stunt here is a reverse 180 on the second floor of a parking garage. After you've whipped your car all the way around like we practiced, you'll need to keep enough speed to crash through the barrier, fly out of the garage, and land on the other side of the lava flow. It's your last chance to impress Langston, kid, so you better give it your all. Here we go, everyone. Last big scene. I want heroics on both sides of the camera. Three, two, one, action! Break through the fence! Cap the cars. Overtake the cars. Close to the explosion. Jump onto ledge. 
bridge. Come on, little buddy. There's nothing to be afraid of. So, you going to that softball tournament next Sunday? Did you guys feel that? Reports have just started to filter in from around the ground. I can't give you a solid death toll. At the center of this destruction is the town. If you are anywhere in the county, please get out now. Driving on those roads is suicide. Staying here is suicide! You better be leaving me here. Jump! You try to be a hero? Just try to stay alive, sir. If you'd listened to me in the first place, we'd all be safe by now. This is not the time. There is no more time. What's up, dude? I'm the director, Andy Baxter. Andy in the house! <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Hey guys, right, this, is, this is a stunt driver! Nah, you're the stunt driver, dude! Stunt driver! Man, I thought you had beers! Guys, take these fireworks to my butt! Jim Boy's playing the lead, so you'll be doubling oh, for him. Once for a reality oh, show, we had Jim flab that. a bridge in his shopping cart with handcuffs on. He was, he was like chained to a goat. Oh, that was sweet! That goat had it coming, man! That's our version of stunt driving, man. Anyway, dude, this flick's called Hoopin' and Hollerin' too. <laughs> 
It's a backwoods, backroad, and cracker fest with some troublemaking brothers getting in car chases with the cops and all that kind of stuff. You just like your trailer park family reunion, Danny. Oh, I do grubs, bite me. Insane. Look, this is my first big flick, so you gotta make it killer, you know? We've planned out some huge, crazy ass stunts for you, so any chance you get to flare it up, just do it, okay? You just take it! I'm not afraid to go to jail to make a point! Oh, I'm trying yeah. to make a point! Oh, 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 I'm trying to make a movie here, dude! Anyway, just sit your marks, we'll be cool. It's good to meet you, man. Have fun out there, and I'll see you on the set. I don't even know where the set is. Look, kid, this director's a clown, so we may have to work double time to give the producers what they want, because, of course, they sign our checks. You'll mostly double for the Creek Boys and their signature muscle car, the General Stewart, as they try to stop the corrupt sheriff from foreclosing on their family's land. You'll also have a scene on a dirt bike as the crazy brother Otis, a fun scene as Uncle Cletus in his monster truck full of moonshine, and a great run as a bank robber in a hijacked armored truck. This will be your first time to shoot chase scenes, so be sure not to fall too far behind the lead car, or we'll have to stop and reset. Most of the action happens in the town square, but we've also got some exciting stunts planned in the junkyard and in the lumberyard. Baxter and his crew are all about backwoods mayhem, so I hope you're ready to tear things up. Literally. In this first scene, the Creek Boy's Uncle Cletus has loaded a ton of moonshine into his monster truck, and he's trying to escape the cops. Big thing here are the crushing stunts. When you see a crush icon, drive your truck over the marked car to smash it. This is a tightly choreographed run, and if the icon turns red, that means the car's left the shot and you've blown your chance. That's about it. Let's start this movie right. Okay, let's get this freaking movie started! Monster truck all over those cop cars, dude! Three, two, one, action! Hit the police car! Hit the police cars! Hard right! Hit the police car! Smash the sign! Hit the police cars! Jump the logs! Jump into the tower! Hit the police car! Close to the semi! Hit the jump! Use action! matter because that was perfect well, get on man Whoa. it's a 10 it's like precision and precise In this scene, you'll double for some bank robbers as they try to escape the Creek Boys and the cops in a hijacked armored vehicle. The challenging stunt is this double overtake near the end. You've got to pass the police car, then thread the needle to pass the semi. If you haven't built up enough speed, you'll smash into the semi head on, so make sure to lay heavy on the throttle. And remember, the more collateral damage, the better. All right, Mr. Stunt Driver, this chase scene needs to be really cool, so break it loose! Three, two, one, action! Scrape the police car. Hard left, take him up. Strip right. Get the car. Scrape the police car. Scrape the truck. Through the gap. Hit the police car! Overtake right! Overtake 
Next, you'll stunt for Otis Creek, the brother with a couple screws loose. He's taking revenge on the corrupt sheriff by disrupting his beloved Catfish County Chicken Day Parade. Your big stunt is an extended wheelie. Gap between these cop cars, then one wheel it all the way across the porch. Then come down hot so you'll have enough speed to take this final jump. And don't let the giant chickens distract you. Andy, how come you always get to call that? Because I'm the director, dude. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, man. You're stuck up. You're different, dude. Three, two, one. Action! Hard left. Through the gap. Hit the boxes. Pass close to the truck. Hard left. Overtake left. Hard right. Drift right. Hard left. Through the gap. Jump the lake. This next run calls for a special stunt, so let me break down how it works. It's called two-wheeling, or skiing. It's one of the trickiest maneuvers in stunt driving, but master it, and you'll really start turning heads in the industry. You'll begin by hitting the ramp with one side of your car. That'll kick you up so you're riding on two wheels. Once you're up, hold steady on the throttle and use the left stick to keep your balance. Watch where you're going, because you must two-wheel in the indicated zone to pass the stunt. To successfully maintain your two-wheel, it's all about control. Small adjustments will turn the vehicle. Big adjustments will raise or lower your vehicle. Once you're ready to come out of it, turn towards the low side or tap the e-brake to come down. Ready to give it a try, kid? Three, two, one. Go! Drive on two wheels. Now you'll double for the Creek Boys, racing to City Hall to save the family farm. Other than some two-wheeling at the top, the tricky stunt comes at the close, when you'll throw a 180 drift into this parallel parking spot. After a left turn, come in straight and clean with a good amount of heat so you can pull the 180 right as you pass the semi. It'll take some practice to learn exactly where to start the drift, so don't sweat a few retakes. Dude, if you can nail these stunts, I will totally give you my sister's number! Oh, Go yeah. for that, dude! Yes! They're oh, huge, they're really yes. Seriously, nice. Yeah. I think she's Asian. Three, two, one, action! Two-wheel past the truck. Through the gap. Drift right. Smash through the picnic area. Drift through the glass. Pass close to the car. U-turn. Left. Hit the object. Hard left. 180 degree drift turn. Cut! Hey, that was almost sweet!
This next scene's a race between the Creek Boys and another redneck in his souped-up hot rod. The key is to follow the lead car. We'll have it clearly marked. You can't bump it too hard, can't get ahead, and can't fall too far behind. There'll be some jumps, 180s, and other stunts where you'll lose sight of the lead, but relax. Long as you stay the course and keep roasting your tires, you'll meet back up with it soon. Quiet on the set, everybody! I'm serious! Shut the hell up! I have to concentrate on making this movie not suck! Three, two, one, action! Follow the lead vehicle! Scrape the vehicle! Hard right! Smash the shack! Drift left! This is the other side of the bank robber chase you shot in Grab and Go, and your last scene for this movie. This time you'll play the Creek Boys, trying to stop the hijacked armored vehicle to get some reward money and save your family's farm. It's another chase scene, so remember, don't fall too far behind the lead. The key stunt is a jump onto the upper deck of a storefront. Hit the jump and break through the balusters. Once on top, keep that speed going to hit the jump and clear the semi. Alright, let's get out there and break some stuff. Kick some butt out there, then we can have our freaking rap party! Rap party, man! I'm gonna take my clothes off. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch you, man. I'm gonna then... beatbox. Three, two, one, action! You turn. Trip left. Close to the car. Through the gap. Trip left. Scrape the vehicle. Scrape the vehicle. Follow the armored car.
Well, maybe this will be enough to remind them boys whose town this is. 